YouTube, what's going on? Professional Madden player T. Davis here in our favorite series from last year, the series you guys love so much. We're going to break down 32 team ebooks here right on the channel. That's it. Free offensive ebooks from all 32 NFL teams. So we're going to have some of the best money plays in every single playbook to break down uh, on the channel for you guys here. So whether you are a fan of the team, whether you use that team in Madden, it doesn't matter. We're going to break down the best money plays in every single playbook here on the channel in our 32 money play series. If you guys want more content, Content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube smash that like button and comment down below anything you want to see here on the channel if you're enjoying these free ebooks or what team you want to see me do next but we're gonna start at the top we're gonna to start you know we're gonna go alphabetical order but we will get through all 32 teams last year it was a huge hit everyone loves these 32 team breakdowns so I'm gonna do it here again on the channel probably gonna last a few weeks though trying to get all 32 teams in but don't worry your team will be on there so check out my playlist as well if you're not sure or if you can't find your team check out the playlist on my channel um, and just go through the channel in general and you'll be able to find your team so that's really it for the intro guys of course i have coaching sessions available i have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you guys want to improve as a madden player i've been around for 10 years have hundreds of thousands of dollars in in career winnings worked as the color commentator for ea sports for our big madden tournaments this year in the past few years so i know what i'm talking about a little bit when it comes to madden so check out the ebooks down below i have a west coast offensive ebook i have an indianapolis colts offensive ebook and i have a tampa bay buccaneers defensive ebook like i said the coaching sessions and film study reviews you can check out all those things and links in the description below as well as my social medias you can follow me on twitter on instagram if you have any questions or anything of that nature so that's really it guys let's jump in to the free ebook right now youtube what's going on professional madden player t davis back here and we're breaking down a free offensive ebook from the baltimore ravens playbook and as you guys seen on my channel before i broken down this baltimore playbook a little bit we talked about the gun spread y flex which we'll get into a play here in a little bit but if you want to check out my channel i have a little bit more in-depth uh, scheme around that formation a couple months back so check that out for sure in this ebook today we're going to break down some of the best money plays in the entire playbook of course, if you're running the Ravens playbook, you know, you really want to be a balanced player. They have some great, you know, QB gimmick runs, some read options, some jet sweeps, triple options, things of that nature. They also have, do have some good passing stuff. So it's not my favorite playbook as far as because in Madden 22, you know, I really think it's a passing type of year. But they do have some good passing stuff. And if you are a fan of running some of the pistols to go off meta and utilize your quarterback in the run game, then it can create some different looks for the defense. So it is one of the most popular uh, playbooks every year. I get a lot of requests always in my comments to break down the Ravens playbook. So here you guys go. We have a free offensive ebook for the Baltimore Ravens playbook. And we'll kind of get into it here. Now we'll start with the pistol formations as I do think this playbook, if you're going to run this playbook, you want to utilize these pistol formations, right? They're a little bit off meta, but they do have some good stuff we can go to, right? And I want to talk first about some of the read options that we really love. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, let's go to the pistol wing flex formation. I'm just going to come out and read option versus kind of random defenses, right? So what you want to do is you always look in to see who has the R over them. And the cool thing about this uh, play is you can actually playmaker it to the left and the right. So I'm going to actually run it to the left side here because I want to read that defensive end on the outside with the R over his head, right? So of course... And I've broken down multiple times on my channel how to run the read option to perfection. But basically what you're doing is when you hike the ball, you want to see, okay, does he crash down on my running back? If you see immediately him sprint kind of towards your running back, towards your quarterback, that's when you want to keep it and run to the outside with your quarterback. If you see him kind of stand up, you know, even fall back a little bit, stay put, that's when you want to hand it off to the running back, right? So we're always watching that guy immediately when we hike the ball. It's all we're looking for. And if we see him stay, stay put, we want to hand the ball off. You to do that, you hold down the X button on PlayStation or you hold down the A button on Xbox. So, we're watching that guy. Of course, if you want to keep it with the quarterback, you don't need to press anything. Just kind of wait and get to the outside with the speed boost. So, I'll, I'll kind of run it once here, then we'll get into the replay breaking down um, what it exactly looks like in slow motion. So, let's go ahead and run it here. You see there, they stay put. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to the running back. Obviously, it, it turns into like a hat back dive. We didn't get the best blocking up front that we would have liked. But you'll see here, of course, we're just watching this guy, right? He's the guy with the R over his head. You see, what does he do here? He stays put, even goes to the outside a little bit. So we know we can't keep with the quarterback because he's going to be waiting for us. So what do we do? We just hand it off to the running back. We get inside. We only picked up about two yards. But usually with these read options, you're not going to lose yardage on these plays. That's what makes them so good. So, you know, obviously we didn't get the blocking we wanted, but we made the right decision there. So let's go ahead and do it again here. I actually want to flip it. I'm going to run it to the right side now. 
because we do have a little bit more of the numbers. We have the extra blocker. I'm reading that outside DB now with the R over his head. Of course, to see this, you want to hold down the right trigger, view your play art to see who has the R over their head. So if, remember, if he stays put, we hand it off. If he crashes down, we keep with our quarterback. So he stays put again. This time we hand it off, and we had a horrible blocking by 86. Oh, my goodness. That could have been a big run right there. This time we'll go ahead and run against the left side. They have the R on the DB this time. This time they crashed down, ah, and we got a little bit unlucky right there. He made a good play on us. So that was kind of tough because we weren't sure who exactly we wanted to see with the R over their head. This time let's do it again. You see there he stays put. We hand it off to Freeman. We get into the hole. So I'm waiting for us to be able to see them crash down at the quarterback so we can kind of turn this into a big play here. Let's go ahead and see here. They stay put again. This time we get up in the middle. So... We're not able to keep with the quarterback, but we're making the right decisions, right? And when you and you add in the read option game, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to make the right decisions. This time they crash down. We're able to get to the outside with Lamar. Obviously, you want to have ball carry on conservative in those spots so that you don't fumble the ball. But that's exactly what we want right there. So let's take a look at the replay here. Of course, we're going to watch this outside defender. You see immediately he sprints down. Immediately when we hike it, he sprints down. Once again, he sprints down immediately. We recognize that after the hike, and we say, okay, now we know we can't hand it off. We're going to keep with our quarterback. We're going to get to the outside of him. We're going to follow our blocks, and we're going to turn this into a nice play to the outside. All right, guys, now I'm going to go over to the pistol strong slot. We'll kind of break down one more gimmicky run play, then we'll get into some pass plays. But the triple option is honestly one of the best runs this year in Madden 22. Now, if you guys saw the Madden Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament, of course, the Madden Championship Series, the big money EA tournaments, which I'm a color commentator for. You saw AI Nash. He's kind of a uh, you know, beginner onto the scene, his first ever tournament on the main stage. And he was running triple options pretty much all tournament, and no one had an answer for it until the finals. So it's one of the best runs that's kind of underutilized here in Madden 22. So we're going to talk about the triple option here. And a lot of the times, literally, you can just hand it off to the fullback, right? It's kind of an, you know, he gets a little boost off the line, right? It's a close-in handoff, kind of like a, you know, inverted fullback dive, but we're out of the shotgun spot here. He's closer to the line, so you're never, ever going to lose yardage off this. And it goes really well against some of the popular meta defenses, right? So I'm not even worried about, you know, do I hand it off? Do I keep with the quarterback? I'm just handing it off with the running back every time. So do that. Of course, you hold X or hold A if you're on uh, Xbox. You hold X if you're on PlayStation. And it's a great two-point conversion play. It's a great red zone play. And like I said, I'm not worried about keeping with the quarterback ever. I'm just going to hand it off. This time, we turn into a big play touchdown. So as you can see, this run is just absolutely money here on uh, Madden 22, especially on the next-gen consoles is where I really like it. We're going to get great blocking kind of in that left A gap from our guard. We're able to follow up there. And we've, as you can see, besides one play, we've had a big play on pretty much all these plays here. We kind of wait for that, that left guard to pick up the linebacker. And we're able to take it up that left gap, up that left seam for a nice big play. You see there, this time we get it in there. Easy five yards right up the middle. It's just simple. Right when you hike it, hold down X, hold down A. Don't even worry about keeping with the quarterback ever. You turn it up into a nice little gain. It's always positive yardage. Like I said, so we'll do this one more last time here. Then we'll get into some pass plays. This time, see, they have guys coming into the box. This is when you probably want to go to your passing attack, right? You probably want to audible out, but we'll just run it for the sake of the video. This time, we're able to get in there. That's still three yards, right? And the defense was ready for it. So one of the best runs in the game in Madden 22, triple option out of the pistol. All right, guys, let's go over to the pistol bunch. And this playbook, uh, this formation has a lot of great passing concepts out of it. Flanker drive is really nice in the red zone. We have PA pin deep. We have PA deep in. We have the dive. We have a read option. Corner strike, really good. PA boot slide. We have the hatback counter out of pistol, which is always pretty solid. Uh, slip screen, as you guys know, I love in Madden 22. But we were going to talk about Seattle, right? It's a little bit different from the normal uh, verticals. As you're going to see that this crossing route is actually a little bit shorter, right? Let me move the ball back, give us a little bit more room here, a little bit more room to work with. So you see here the crossing route to the slot receiver is actually a little bit shorter, so it creates a nice little short kind of, uh, you know, concept here. Now there's a couple different things we can do out of this play that I really love, right? So the first thing is I like to do my halfback wheel flat combo, of course, here to the right side. I'm going to go ahead and put the circle receiver on a flat. I'm going to go ahead and put my tight end on a drag so now i have a high low read going to the left i also have my halfback wheel flat combo going to the right so it's going to really stress the user because if we're going to throw to the running back wheel which if our zone coverage that running back wheel works every time it's going to force the user to go over and guard that running back wheel right and when they do that we're going to have our left side completely open with one of those routes so it's stressing the user forcing them to make a decision now if the user runs with the crossing route or the drag 
we're going to have our wheel route open every time here to the right side. So I motion over a little bit, give us a little bit more space. But you see there, he gets in that little area in the zone. They can The computer zones are never going to be able to guard that halfback wheel flat combo, right? So we'll do that one more time here. Motion out like that. Go ahead, and I like to low pass kind of as soon as he cuts up into that little area of beautiful, right? So now, okay, you say, hey, the defense is going to have to take that away, right? They're going to have to start to user that, maybe man it up, and they're going to have to worry about that right side of the field, right? So pretend over here they go to user, right? We come back here to the left side, and now we have the drag underneath. And if they would, you know, if they would guard the underneath drag, we're going to have the crosser behind it and vice versa, which we just hit there on the drag. So it really stresses both sides of the field. Uh, my controller's stuck here. I don't know what happened. My controller's stuck. All right, here we go. So we'll go ahead and do it again here. And you'll see that pretend the user's going to go over to the right side, guard that running back. If it'll let me hike, my controller's definitely bugging out here. Let me go ahead and pause it. All right, so now we they pretend the user goes over there to guard the running back. We're going to come back here, and we have either route. Obviously, they're playing a little bit back, so we check it down to our drag route to the tight end, one of the best ways to attack the defense. Now, of course, you can also do another one of my favorite concepts, right, is the motion slant flat combo. So I'm going to go ahead and put circle on a slant route just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put Mark Andrews on a flat route just like this. I'm going to go ahead and motion over circle. Now we have a slant crosser combo, stressing the user over the middle once again here. And I like to low pass this slant pretty much every time. The zones aren't going to guard that. And we're forcing the user to guard either the slant or the crosser um, over the middle, right? Forcing them to make a decision. Now the defense is backed off a little bit, so I don't know if we'll be able to hit this crosser. But if they go to guard that slant, right, we're eventually going to have our crosser deep down the sidelines now. The defense was playing back pretty good, so we couldn't really make that read. But a lot of times, you know, the crosser's going to get behind that zone coverage. So once again here, we love to go to our slant crosser combo out of Seattle. So many different things, like I said, you can do out of this. Go ahead, go to it right here just like this. Low pass, low ball, that slant with the left trigger. Now, one other setup you can do is just kind of run the stock. I really love this tight end wheel route. So what I will do is go ahead and put my uh, receiver on a flat. I actually like to flip it, right? So I'll be able to run it to the short side here, and you can do something like this. Uh, have, so I'm looking for this tight end wheel route, kind of motion this guy out. And you still have also that crosser, but that little uh, wheel route to the tight end with a low pass, really good on the short or wide side of the field. So so many different ways you can run this Seattle play out of the pistol bunch. All right, guys, and real quick, we'll go over to the gun bunch formation. It's a great way to utilize both the pistol bunch and the gun bunch. It's a quick audible as well. Obviously, only your quarterback and running back move a little bit. If you want to audible between these two formations, it basically gives you an added amount of bunch plays here because we have both formations, pretty much two bunches that we can utilize. So in this gun bunch formation, we have some great plays. The play we're going to break down is Raven's Trail. But if you take a look, we have Clear Out, one of the best plays every year. Um, we have Mesh Spot, which is, I broke down on my channel. Love that play, especially in the red zone, one of the best red zone money plays you can use. Um, we have Z-Spot, one of the best flood concepts. Corner Strike, of course. Verticals, which we just talked about in the Pistol Bunch. Bench Pivot, one of the best rollout corners. And we have a Slip Screen. So a lot we can go to in here as well. Of course, we're going to break down Raven's Trail. I'm going to run this versus random coverages. Just to give you guys a good feel. Now, the simplest way to set this up is literally stock, right? Only adjustment that I'll make is I like to put the solar receiver on a comeback route instead of that out route instead. And all these routes on the right are going to beat man coverage, first of all. And second of all, one of them is usually going to be open versus zone, right? But this is one of my favorite plays versus man coverage. As you see there, we have the tight end angle route that absolutely whoops man coverage. You're going to have the post. You're going to have the drag. Now, I do like to motion out this post route. I forgot to mention that. Give it a little bit more spacing on the play. We Of course, we love spacing. Um, that's a bad read by me. I had the post wide open. I didn't see that linebacker. He kind of delayed his coverage right there. So once again, we'll motion out that post route here. And you can also hit the tight end quickly as soon as he kind of cuts in right there versus zone. So the tight end angle route is going to be really good versus man and zone. We're going to motion out the post again here. We're going to have man coverage. And a lot of times you can hit that post as soon as he kind of cuts. And I like to aggressive catch that post a lot as well. The defense won't be able to react to it. Let's go ahead and do it again here. This time we're going to have our comeback route wide open behind the flat defender. So as soon as he kind of cuts back in, if they go down to the drag, we're going to have that comeback route. So one more time with this setup. Motion out circle, and this time we're going to have circle, I believe, on the post. I threw that a little bit late right there. I was trying to wait for it before he got to the safety. But as you can see here, then we're going to have man coverage again. And, of course, first man coverage, we love our drags and our trails. The drag route was wide open, but the blitz came in a little bit too quick right there. So now, 
two other setups that I really love here is I'm going to go ahead and put my running back on a wheel. I'm going to put circle on a flat, and I'm going to flip the play, right? Just like this. Now, what I like to do here on this side is go ahead and put the tight end on a flat like that and put my slot receiver on a drag, right? Kind of similar to the mesh post concept that we love um, out of the West Coast playbook. So what you're looking for here is, of course, we have our halfback wheel flat combo, which we love versus zone. But on the back side, we also have that hitch flat post combo, which is one of the best concepts in Madden out of bunch formations, right, to that left side. So a lot of different ways we can go here. See off the jump, the tight end kind of gets behind the defender. And those tight end flat routes, guys, absolute money in Madden 22. I recommend them highly. Um, if you have, Especially if you have a really good uh, tight end there, you can turn that into big plays a lot. If there's no hard flat defenders, you can throw, you can check it down to the tight end drag pretty much exclusively. But you see here the halfback wheel like I talked about in the previous uh, play. Just gets open versus any zones in the game. One of the best weapons you can utilize. Once again, it looks just like this. We'll go ahead and hike it here. This time, what do we have? We're going to have our post here. Bad throw by Lamar, but we're still able to get it there with an aggressive catch. So that hitch post combo on the left side really stresses the defense, right? And you're able to kind of check it down to the hitch if they're playing back. If they're playing it hard underneath, we throw it to the post like we just did there. This time, you see them drop back a little bit. We're just going to check down to our hitch. So we're always reading the coverages on the bunch side as well as the hatback wheel side. Now, one other setup that I will mention here is I like to actually turn this into kind of a corner route play. And I'll talk about what I mean here. Uh, so it's like this, right? I actually want to double team this guy. And I broke this down in my West Coast ebook on how to create great blocking schemes. And you can actually create a nice little rollout here and turn this into a corner route. We're going to motion him over, right? We just put circle on a streak to create a flood. Wait for our chop block to come in. We roll out. And you see there, we have it into a corner route deep down the sidelines for a big play. So I'll do that setup. One more time here, of course, we flip the play. We like to put circle or the outside solo receiver on a streak, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and double team this guy, the D end inside uh, to the side we want to roll out. Double team him. And then I'm going to slide protect away from the running back. Of course, I broke this all down to my ebook. So if you guys want one of the best blocking schemes ever, check out my West Coast offensive ebook. It has great blocking schemes. And then, and I froze again. Then I'm going to go ahead and roll out here to the right side. And we're going to try to wait. We're going to wait for the running back to chop block him. And you see their square is wide open into an inverted corner route to the sidelines, creating a huge play out of this Ravens trail uh, play in the bunch formation. All right, guys. And finally, of course, it wouldn't be right if we didn't talk about circle. Probably the play that the Ravens playbook is known for, one of the best plays in the game, is gun spread wide flex circle play. We're going to run this versus random coverages as well. And, of course, so many different things we can do out of this, right? You know, a million different things we can do. What I like to do out of this is put circle on a little smoke screen, just like this, kind of just to get him out of the way, create a nice little spacing out of this. You can do whatever you want with triangle, whether you want to hitch him, whether you want to uh, keep him on his route he's on, put him on a flat, get him out of the way, whatever you want to do with triangle, you can do. This is what it's going to go ahead and look like. Of course, we love to check down to this little halfback circle route. It's like an inverted deep angle route, but he gets absolutely great spacing uh, on this play, and that's why we love it so much, right? So kind of as soon as he cuts up, I mean, that's an easy five to eight yards, and we didn't really do much, right? Especially if it's zone coverage, it's like all day long. We can just check it down to Freeman there uh, on that route. So once again, just looks like this, creates some good spacing. This time, once again, he's going to get wide open. He's gonna, it's one of the quickest cuts up the field ever, too. That's what makes it so good. I love it in the red zone as well. Once again here, same thing. Boom. This time we passed the ability to the outside and made a good tackle there, but we're still able to pick up four yards on just something that wasn't really that open, right? So we'll go ahead and do it one more time here. This time, same thing. Cuts up. Get it out there. Quick four yards, right? So, okay, now they're going to have to start to use that, right? They're going to have to start to guard that. That's when we kind of want to wait for our deep cross or coming from the right side. And you see here we have a blitz. So that's why we have our smoke screen there as well. We can just check it down if they do bring a blitz or we don't have enough time to get to our crossing route coming from the left. We just check it down to our smoke screen and we make a play out of it. Smoke screens are really underrated here in Madden 22. Not a lot of people utilize them. But you see here they have man coverage, but we didn't have a lot of time there. We had we had square coming from the left, but we we're not able to buy enough time there to get it to them. Let's see here if we can get a little bit more time. We have circle. As you can see there, the smoke screen's wide open, but this is the route we want to hit, right? The money route, the crosser deep down the sidelines for a huge play. Try to do it one more time here, see if we can get a little bit of time. Try to roll out, maybe hit that deep crosser. You see there we have him again. Hollywood Brown for a big play down the sideline. So circle, you guys know I broke it down already in my video. If you want to see an in-depth in more video on this circle play and this gun spread by flex, check out the previous video on my channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed, like this video, comment down below. 
Appreciate you guys so much, man. This has been the Best Money Plays free Ravens offensive ebook. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.